came to New York in the middle of February from the Netherlands, where I now live for the past uh, 16 years. And this is the longest I've been away from my two daughters there and my daughter who lives in Texas. I've been here since February 12th. It is now April. What is today? April... Jesus Christ, I don't even, what, what is a day? It's just another one is what it is. Um, but we, I came February 12th to get in uh, my head, heart, and spirit in the zone to do these family stand rehearsals and shows and interviews. Uh, be in, in, uh, family stand has not done anything uh, of this magnitude in quite, quite, quite a while. So I wanted to get myself prepared. And I um, it was a major sacrifice to plan to be away from my kids for two months to do that. But uh, Family Stand is, is family for me as well. It is part of um, the, the, the f- a foundation that makes me, uh, all of us, uh, who we are as artists, the three of us. And our band members have also become uh, our family. So that's why I made that decision. Uh, the week before, <laughs> uh, the week before the, the whole thing stopped, it was literally, I think, two days before rehearsal was to begin. We'd already fortunately recorded the Questlove for Supreme uh, interview. We'd done a couple other things uh, um, via phone and and everything was ready, you know. Um, we got the call that the first show was canceled. Then we got the... So it's okay, well, we, we could still do the, the other shows and, <clears throat> you know. But then, you know, of course, over the course of the day, we realized that this was bigger than our our feelings of of uh, of or, or or even our um, our need to do something that was that as special as this would have been for us, and we accepted that. Um, Peter, who lives in L.A., uh, didn't have to get on a plane. Thankfully, he stayed there with his family. I then had to figure out what the hell am I going to do sitting in an Airbnb. (laughs) Um, So I, of course, tried to figure out getting home. That became more problematic than I thought it should have been. Um, The the, the, uh, airline canceled the flights, (laughs) canceled another flight, and... Um, uh, just decided to make the, the best of it because, you know, here I am with, you know, I traveled with two huge suitcases full of, of outfittery <laughs> to, to, uh, to, 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 to be, you know, one of the lead singers of the family stand. And, uh, these things are not being seen anymore. Not that that part was important, but the, what part of that is, that is important to me was I hate traveling with, with so much stuff and baggage and things and stuff and ting and ting and stuff and uh and now i did it for naught <laughs> so that part was uh, an annoying uh but but is is this whole thing settled is this whole idea of uh the whole reality of the crisis and the magnitude uh the imp- impact it was having on on in everything around us but more importantly on everyone around us when the the degrees of separation between me or anybody that i knew personally and someone that was affected by it 
that did those degrees became smaller and smaller. It was five degrees and four degrees and two degrees and then one. So now we all know someone or someone's affected by and or have transitioned because of this virus. That that that's a heavy hit. Um and it takes precedence. It took precedent over over the feelings of disappointment. What, what became more important was that everything, knowing I've always, always, uh, we all recognize that everything happens for a reason, right? So what, 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 what is the reason? We don't know the reason, but we do know that music is a healing force. Um, uh, and, and, and this moment, what it does call for, because once everything was shut down, and, and no one can, can can the hustle and bustle is at a at, at boom full stop. Uh, you 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 are left to what your devices at home. You are left to whatever you whatever you have inside of you. What artists have artists have is our creativity. That's magic for all of us. And when I see my fellow artists. Uh, taking that moment to just, you know, be intimate and at home, uh, showing themselves with no makeup, hair not done, um, and with just a camera, you know, a phone, cell phone, and doing their thing. That that's a beautiful thing. Um, I had already before this this pandemic hit decided that I wanted to try to do a video for for one of our songs on the album, which is going to be the last song on the Family Stands upcoming album. The album is called Evolve. And the song was Pray for Peace. But when the pandemic hit, I realized, oh, 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 oh. So number one, I'm not going to be able to hang with Peter and Jeff to do this video. Number two, this energy that is in this song is more needed than it was before when the idea struck. Uh, so how do, how do I make that a reality? Meditating on that idea, um, the conversation with my tech guru bestie M. Nahad, I I realized we can do this. I, this this can be done. Uh, I'm not anywhere near as high tech as M or uh, as as audio file uh, expert as James Nichols, but with their help and literal sending me and walking me step by step one two three four five, sending me a a, a, a list, emailing me the list of what you need to have in your little studio Airbnb. And fortunately, being able to order those things from Walmart because I am not a vlogger or YouTuber or influencer or anything of the sort. I don't have any of that shit. So I had to get it because I've this, I, I believe that song needed to be in the universe. It's not about it being heard. It's about it being out in the scheme of things. It's about it being felt. Um, so I got my green screen, I got my, my ring light, you know, I, I, you know, I, I got my, my holder, I got the, I, the, the, I've ordered the microphone also to do live streams later, but for this video, we just, they showed me how to, they told me how to set it up and what to do and how to do it. We went through picking out images because, you know, uh, social distancing there's, you know, and and, uh, and also stay at home uh, recommendations. I didn't want to try to be uh, out. I do have asthma, by the way, so I have to be extra, extra careful. Um, so I did it all in the room and, and uh, sent the information that I had chosen, the background information, uh, to their lovely <laughs> abode. Um, out of state and, and that that was how we put this video together remotely without even doing a zoom 
or a FaceTime or a WhatsApp video message, none of that stuff. This was just us uh, texting and calling and exchanging files. Um, this moment is, is something that, that none of us will ever forget. This moment is something that is, is, is a time that will define us uh, for, for, for generations or, or uh, forever. This, is, this mom- moment is going to change us, is, ha- has already changed us. And I do believe um, the sacrifices being said being hard as hell. Um, and, and and not not anything to applaud. Um, I think we are all learning valuable lessons right now about prioritizing and importance. I think we are are going to come out of it understanding um, understanding ourselves individually and collectively better. In this moment. Absolutely, absolutely, however you pray. Because even if you're an atheist, your atheism is in, in your atheism, you walk in prayer because you walk according to your your inner beliefs. And that is that, that moving walking meditation is, is the prayer. You don't have to get on your knees. You don't have to ha- give it a name, a religion, a, a deity. Your prayer is how, how you move through life. This moment calls for praying for peace. Um, and it's not a hippie ass, uh, a hippy dippy flower power. Yay, let's just, uh, no, 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 no. Pray for inner peace. Pray for uh, the, 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 the sacrifices that have been made, These the people that have been lost and that will continue to be lost. Pray that that was not for naught. Pray that we come out on the other side of this a better people. Better people. Better people. That's my prayer. That's my prayer for peace. I loved the entire experience. We made the decision to do a 24-hour marathon of this energy. Uh, And it was exhausting and, and, and exhilarating simultaneously. I loved it. Um, and I hope y'all dug it too.